welcome back friends just a short one today let's see if i mean it this time i always say it's going to be a short one and it never is but no, it should really be a short one today um i'm actually on my way to take some pictures for instagram and yes you heard me right i'm gonna take pictures for instagram i have an instagram now never had an instagram before never had any desire to have an instagram <laughs> they don't ever want one but um i've been asked by quite a few people if i have one both online and offline and i thought you know what that's a sign that i need to finally make an instagram <laughs> and do the things that instagram people do and i'm gonna find somewhere to take some nice pictures for instagram to rip around this road a bit faster but as you can probably see it's pretty wet <laughs> around here taking pictures is the best thing I could do today because at least I have something to take a picture of there's an update to the bike I got tank pads now Yep Tank pads Beautiful, beautiful tank pads On the side of my tank And I want to show you Those tank pads So that's what I'm going to take pictures of But I'm going to pull up Down the road To show you the tank pads real quick And you guys can let me know what you think of them This is some castle fort thing uh, So yeah <laughs> Why not <laughs> uh, Take a picture or two here I guess Alright well Hope you guys can see that clear enough CBR 650R I think it looks pretty good It looks better than I thought it would look And it matches with this You know it's like I think it looks pretty neat Um, yeah Pretty nice uh, You know me, Mr. Cheap I always buy the cheapest <laughs> Version of everything So uh, these are like the cheapest tank pads You can get for this bike online Again, I mean they're nothing special um, I mean they look good But in terms of quality uh, They're nothing special uh, Just your cheap tank pads <laughs> We'll see how they fare <laughs> After a few months um, But yeah, as of now I think they're alright, I think they look good uh, so I'm going to snap some pictures of them on my phone So I'm actually going to do that real quick Do you know what I realised doing that? <laughs> I just realised how bad of a photographer I am Like I suck at taking pictures Like I really suck at taking pictures <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the tank pads uh, In the comment section uh, Let me know uh, Do you like them? Do you not? It's funny because <laughs> I've had these tank pads Pretty much for as long as I've had the bike So pretty much right after I got the bike I got the tank pads But I just never put them on um, One because I, I knew I wanted to make a video out of it At some point But two because I was just lazy Even though it takes like two seconds to do I was putting it off for so long Just because I was lazy um, And it's funny because I kept getting loads of comments Saying hey you should get tank pads You should get tank pads It improves the grip And it, it makes the bike more comfortable because you can grip with your legs and the bike will be more comfortable because you don't have to put so much pressure on your wrist and all of that <laughs> you see i could go past these people but i kind of would feel bad <laughs> it's like my exhaust is a bit loud i don't want to like rip past some horses you know oh it looks like they're turning anyway i hope they are they're not oh no now I feel super bad Bro, that horse is massive Bro, I have ne What? I have never seen such a big horse 
that horse is huge what was i saying so yeah um <laughs> every time somebody would comment saying hey you should get tank pads i was kind of like yep good suggestion <laughs> uh well i already had them uh so yeah there you go and you know what they do even though these ones aren't very grippy they're kind of like a shimmery surface so they're not that great for grip but i do feel a difference like it de they definitely do add more grip uh well i do have more grip i should say um yeah it is easier to grip the tank i will say so yeah that's kind of cool uh so thank you for everyone who suggested that i'm just picking the wrong roads today aren't i like why why tell me why if you know why tell me why um i actually got some tank pads i don't know if the camera's going to show it but for like this area whoop, <laughs> and i was looking down whilst i was riding and that wasn't a good idea uh but yeah you know what i mean the top of the tank <laughs> i don't have to look at it uh you guys know what i mean um yeah i got some pads for there i couldn't find any that were cbr 650r specific um but the ones i got were the well they were just generic ones and they did not look good i put it on and it just didn't look good so i took it off so to be honest i i don't mind how it looks without the without the the tank pad so i'm not that desperate to get one but if any of you guys know any uh tank pads for the top of the tank uh that actually suit this bike well and or if it's specifically designed for this bike then please let me know because i wouldn't mind putting one of those on but if not i don't mind leaving it blank it's, it's okay I, mean, I like how the top looks anyway ouch ah the road is teasing me the nice open road but it's all wet <laughs> some of you guys somehow i mean people have asked me in the comment section before if i have an instagram and i've said no and i haven't posted anywhere or told anyone that i have an instagram and i made the instagram account i think it was yesterday or the day before well before i'm filming this video anyway and somehow i've already got a few followers like <laughs> how have people found me already and i know it's not just bots or random people because one of the accounts has honda in their name like, how did you find how did, how did you how did you find me because you obviously knew who i am or what i do or i didn't even announce it yet and i'm already getting followers i guess it's not that hard i guess maybe you guys just searched my name in instagram or something but yeah that was interesting now i know i'm gonna sound like a bit of a nut job here or a conspiracy theorist or something but i don't normally ask you guys to like and sub and all of that stuff and comment that regularly i try not to because i know it's annoying and i mean everyone knows how to use youtube by now i mean if you wanted to like and comment and sub then you would do that i don't have to tell you um but i'm gonna ask for this video can we do a test can you if you don't mind if you could all like the video uh if you haven't subbed you might as well sub as well and leave a comment maybe the reason being is because i don't know what's happened recently if my channel's kind of been shadow banned or i don't know what's going on but since i've been posting videos on the 650r i've been getting a load of views well, not a load i mean for a small channel like me my views have been pretty decent um i've had youtube channels in the past and they've never done as good as this channel has been doing of recent up until a week ago the channel was doing great i was getting a lot of subs i was getting a lot of views a lot of engagement and then in the last like seven days i've noticed everything has just dropped dramatically like i mean severely just tanked just dropped and i'm kind of confused as to why that is now obviously i know and how analytics work all channels you know all social medias you have peaks and troughs you know you've got like a a period of you know a lot of viewership then you get a period of you know a lot less viewership that's just natural but this drop doesn't seem natural this drop just kind of came out of nowhere and it's a really big noticeable drop it's like i went from getting loads of views every day 
whether I uploaded or not, I just went from getting a load of views to just like none. <laughs> like just, they just dropped significantly. To the point where I was like, no, something must be wrong. I even showed someone else and they were thinking, no, you're just exaggerating. And then when I showed them the analytics, they were like, oh wow, yeah, that is, that is a bit crazy. So I'm not sure why that's happened. Maybe it is just a natural dip in viewership. I mean, it happens. I mean, I guess <laughs> if that is what it is, then fair enough. I'm, I'm okay with that. But I just want to check if everything's okay. <laughs> so if you guys like this video and you comment, you know, put engagement on it and whatever, share it if you, if you want to. Um, and the channel is still kind of just plumbing then I'll know maybe something's wrong but if this video does good then yeah I guess <laughs> I guess I did just fall off <laughs> naturally which isn't a problem I'm okay with that but I, I would at least want to know why the different viewers shit happened um, so please don't take this as me complaining or anything like I don't I don't need a lot of viewers I'm not begging for a lot of viewers or anything like that I'm just genuinely curious <laughs> about the science behind it that's that's all it is but yeah if you guys do that thank you very much I appreciate it and regardless of how many views or likes the video gets to all of you who did watch it that's all I care about thank you for watching it if it's just one person thank you to that one person you know that as long as someone's watching I'm happy that, that's all I care about I just want to make that clear <laughs> that I'm not complaining all right <laughs> um, I'm in a complete different area from the last time I made a cut in this video <laughs> so what look at that car what as he whoa how do you end up over there uh, you guys should get used to seeing rain in my videos because <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of that in the UK and it started to rain so any other plans I had for the rest of this ride are being cut short I'm calling it a day uh, so thanks for watching guys um, Stay safe, ride safe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.